Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. How are you today? I'm down here on the patio on a hot summer afternoon in Colorado, and I'm kind of uh, chuckling to myself because I'm thinking of a conversation that I had last weekend with a really good friend of mine, a friend of mine who's been in the community and has been through this work that we do in the Good Guys to Great Men community for many years. He's come a long way. And he's gotten to the point since his divorce that he's ready for a relationship, a real relationship with a woman who's done the work, with a woman who's honest and intimate and vulnerable and can be there with him, solid, grounded, right, clear-headed kind of relationship. He just wants a normal relationship. He's a normal guy. He's done the work. He wants a normal woman. He's found one, he thinks, although she's ha she has trauma and she can't really commit to a relationship yet because the trauma is that her last boyfriend since her divorce dumped her and now she's got some issues um, and th this was funny just because I'm sorry if you don't find this funny maybe it's cruel but he, he was saying well you know she's done a lot of work I want a woman who's done some work and I said what kind of work has she done he goes well she's a yoga teacher right she's a teacher she's full-time yoga instructor She's a meditator. She teaches meditation. She's into Eastern uh, spirituality. She uh, does a lot of journaling. She does a lot of reading, right? And she also, I think she does some mushrooms, maybe does some journeys, personal journeys. And the biggest thing she does is breath work. She goes, I've, I've done a lot of breath work. I like my breath work. I do breath work in the morning, breath work in the afternoon. I do breath work on the weekend. I do breath work all the time. Breath work is very important to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and, I, and I said, so what's the problem? He goes, I don't know. He, he, he said, it seems with all that breath work, she can't make a decision. With all that breath work, you think she might be a little farther along. And the reason it's funny is because she's been working so hard to get her head wrapped around the trauma she thinks she's got about being in a committed relationship with a normal guy. He's finding it humorous that after all the work, after all the wood has been chopped, after all the water has been carried, she's still in, a, in a, the same state of mind she started in. After all the work, she's not more awesome than she was. After all the work, she's not more clear. After all the work, she's not more calm. After all the work, she's no more confident about what it means to be in relationship with a man than she was when she started. So what does she do? She does more work. Now, I'm not making fun of her because this is us. This is what most of the guys do who first come into good guys to great men. They, they want to do all the work. What do I got to do? What do I got to read? Who do I got to talk to? Uh, how much marriage counseling should I have? What book should I read next? And so we get into the work and the work becomes this, this impossible journey to find something that's going to fix you. It's going to make you less broken. It's going to make you more confident. It's going to make you more attractive. It's going to make her like you more. It's going to make her feel more calm around you. It's going to fix your marriage. It just doesn't work like that. And that's why I wanted to make this video. If you've been doing a lot of work and things don't seem to be getting better and you're saying, why aren't I awesome or why aren't things better since I've started all this work? Why isn't she doing her work? Doesn't everybody see how much work I'm doing? All of that kind of stuff. It's very possible that you're, you're doing too much work. It's quite possible you're doing the wrong kind of work or you're doing it the wrong way because there's no amount of reading. There's no amount of breath work. There's no amount of meditating or journaling that if done in the wrong mindset in the wrong way, it's going to help you achieve this state of calm, cool, clear, confident, consistent energy that is you. The thing is that you're not as broken as you think you are. You're not, you don't need as much fixing or as much work as you think you do. The thing that we do in Good Guys to Great Men Coaching is very simply but powerfully help you see that there's a version of you that's okay at this minute. He's perfectly okay, except when you think you're not okay. And then you think stupid stuff, you say stupid stuff, and you do stupid stuff from a point of not being okay in your mind. Like I said, you can't read your way into being okay. You have to have a clear understanding that okayness is not someplace you have to get to. Being calm, respecting yourself, understanding that life is a journey and that you don't have control over everything. This is a mindset. And it's surprisingly powerful when a man gets the right kind of coaching and he gets the right perspective. All of the work starts to make sense. He starts to realize that, man, I think I read about 10 too many books because they all said the same thing anyway. Why didn't I get this the first time? Well, the reason is, is because we're so anxious about outcomes. We're so 
impatient about people doing what they think they should do, that people ought to be more responsive. They ought to get us better. They, they ought to see our changes and they ought to trust us more. And we try to fix our relationships by by putting a whole bunch of expectations on how the world should work and how other people should react to us. And that doesn't work. What's funny is when you let go of all those expectations and thinking all this work you're doing is somehow going to have a reciprocal impact on your situation, when you let go and realize that calmness, patience, courage, confidence, and consistency, all those C words, those things are going to change your relationship more than anything. Why? Because when you learn to be yourself, the true self, the one who's actually okay and not all worked up in your monkey mind, when you get to that point, you start thinking better thoughts, more mature thoughts, more patient thoughts, more compassionate thoughts. You start saying things that are more patient, mature, and compassionate, and powerful. And you start doing things that matter instead of trying to do things to manipulate other people or manipulate an outcome. It is amazing what happens when you simplify this work and you allow somebody to help you ground yourself into doing things that make sense for you and aren't just busy work, distracting you from the truth, which is the real you is perfectly okay. Just you don't think so sometimes. So if you want more information on this, you know where we are, goodguystogreatmen.com. We talk to guys all day, every day about what's in your future. What can you do with our community, whether it's coaching, whether it's the round table, taking the divorce bomb course, whatever it is that you need to do to realize there isn't as much work to do as you think there is. So stop running around the hamster wheel. Hope that helps you today, brother. Take care. Bye-bye.